Today we're taking a look at a very cool and unique idea for anybody that likes the likes a little tech gadget on their desk, that likes to have a little tech gadget on their shelf like I do. This is from a company called Devoom and it's their TimeGate. And I think this is just one of the coolest products that I've seen that's come across my desk in a very long time. If you're interested in the Devoom TimeGate for yourself or for anybody that's a little bit techy and nerdy like me, I'll throw some links down in my description. If you're interested in this for yourself or for a gift, definitely check out those links. Now taking a look at it right off the bat, you can see you have five different customizable displays and there's a whole bunch of different pixel arts that you can throw up there. You can even throw up your own photos. But before we do that, I just wanna show you overall the, the huge amount of detail that they've put into this device. On the top there, you have a couple actual physical buttons and you can also see all of the awesome lighting that kind of cycles through and is customizable as well. But on the side here, it says time gate and it kind of looks like a little bit of a spaceship that's landed. Maybe this is the moon, the moon lander. Inside you have this awesome amount of attention to detail, little rubber feet so this doesn't slide around when you put it on your shelf or desk. And the same on the other side, you have a little bit of a, little bit of a logo, the O4 there. Again, one of the coolest gift ideas, one of the coolest products that's come across my desk, and it is powered with USB-C. Thank you very much. But flipping it over, you can see each one of those ribbon cables for those five displays. And you can see the different RGB lights kind of turning on or off as this thing cycles through, through its little programming there. So awesome, awesome design. I'm definitely a super huge fan of this. Now taking a look at the front display here, again, you have five different customizable displays. So right now this is showing me the, right now this is showing me some sort of weather data with the wind speed, the actual, temperature right there. Here's your time. You also get some stocks and a real-time noise meter. So there's your decibel meter. So without any talking, it's about the 30 range and you can see it just spiked up as I start talking. It also works with 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth connection. But to show you how to use it, you do have to download the application and the application is called Devoom and you can get it on your app store and you can control everything about this device right from this application but you can also control it from the, the actual buttons on the top. So you have a light button, a mode button, a power button, as well as an increase and decrease button right there. So you can cycle through the different lights just by pressing on the light button. And I'll show you the different lighting schemes from within the application. You can see all of the awesome lights all around the inside of this device. One of the coolest products once again. Let me kind of just cycle through one more just to kind of show you. And then the mode button, if you create different screens, you can cycle through those different screens just by pressing that mode button. So here's one that I've created. There's the time. Again, I put time with the weather. If I have any MLB games going on, I'm gonna see the score right there. And you can also download a PC application and get all the relevant information about your PC. A lot of nice customization when it comes to those five screens there. But again, everything comes from the application. And if you want to spend time and you want to go in and you want to create your own pixel art, you can definitely do that. You can also go in and create your own animations. And there's a lot of people that have spent hours upon hours creating their own animations. Thankfully, all you have to do is download them and throw it onto your display. But if you're all about that customization life, you can go ahead and make your own there. And if we just take a look at one more, I want to show you. Here's a scoreboard. So if you're playing a game with someone and you want to keep track of the score, it's very easy to just use your display and, and show, the, show the score right there. It's also a stopwatch. There's a lot of different features, but I want to show you how you can customize each one of these five displays because that's really the coolest part about the Devoom time gate here. Going into the next setting here, this is where you change all of the options about your, your five displays on the time gate. And these ones are actually curated by, I guess, Devoom. So you have, you have a couple options here. Here's my cryptocurrency option, and you can choose which cryptos are showing. And it also does rotate. You see your first item, then you have your second item. So it will rotate the display if you have different, different cryptos that you want to keep track of. And you can do this with other options as well. But I just want to show you a couple in here that I think are actually pretty cool. Here's your sci-fi with your RSS feed. And again, everything is customizable. One of the curated displays, obviously, that I really like is the YouTube counter. And if you're a TikToker or you're anything like that, this is a nice way to keep track of your followers and keep track of your likes and your comments. There's a lot of curated options that you can choose from. This happens to be a clock. So here we go, 137. But if you're not about the curated life and you want to create your own, you can do that. So if we go into the next section here, this is where you can create your own list of what you want to show on your display. 
So let's click over to the one that I actually made not, not too long ago. So I have the time, I have my Bitcoin, have the weather. If there's any MLB games going on, I'll see the scores right there. And let's click to one more here that I've created. So here it is. Pretty cool in my opinion. To create your own curated five display list, it's very easy. Let's click on the plus icon right here. Click on the first box and this box represents that first display. And you can also upload your own photos. So let me click on camera. I'm gonna upload a photo of when I was at the gym just for fun. Put it into frame and then it's gonna be right there. Let's say I wanted to add two photos. Let's kind of do a second photo little bit of a photo that's been not cropped as much. So you can see it's going to animate through the two of them. Kind of flipping back and forth if that's your thing. Let me go back and kind of delete that. So we just have a static image. There it is. Uploading your own photos of your pets, your loved ones, anything like that. You can throw it right there. Let's click on that second box and that's going to represent the second, second display. Once again, let's go to custom because I did download an I Love New York animation and that's going to upload right to the Devoom very, very quickly. Again, this is all done over Wi-Fi or it can also be done over Bluetooth. So it does take a little second to upload. There it is. I Love New York. Super cool. Third one. I think you guys are getting the idea, but I'm just going to go through the five display. The third one, let's put the weather. And then let's see the fourth one. Let's go in. Next one, let's just go in and choose an animation clock just for fun. And then let's click on the fifth display and choose. Let's do some stocks on that fifth display right there. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and kind of created my own, my own five display animation. And you can see them listed right here. And that's where the mode button comes into play. So if you press the mode button, it's going to cycle through whatever you have listed there. So let's go ahead and cycle through here. And you'll be able to see that's my first one on the top. Let's press that mode button again. So the second one is going to display right there. So again, I think this is really cool. Definitely really awesome. And to find new animations, there is a, there is sort of like a community based animation store, if you will. Now, all of these are free. You don't have to pay for any of these, but you can go in and you can see all your recommended. Here's Mars 2024. Here's a creation album, April Fool's Day. Here's spring. Let's just kind of see what's in spring. I guess that's the bunny. So tons of animations to choose from. And let's see, emojis. There really is literally thousands and thousands of these. Let's click on nature. Now let's say I wanted to add Stay Puff. Stay Puff is super cool. I'm gonna click on Stay Puff. I'm also going to heart it as a favorite, but then I'm also just going to click on those dots and it makes it very easy to on the fly, put it over to one of these displays. Now let's get rid of that static display and click on the first one. And there he is. He's right over there. Stay Puff is chilling. And if I really like it, I can save it to local gallery. And if I really like this person, who's this pixel Paula, if I really like what she's done and she's definitely uploaded a lot, all I have to do is follow her. And then this way I can quickly go and quickly see whatever she's created and whatever something new comes up, I'll be able to quickly follow her. But if you're saying to yourself, Jabber, there's so many different animations, I don't know how I'm going to find what I'm looking for. Well, there's a search button right at the top so you can quickly search for what you want to search for. I'm going to search for cat. Let's click on cat and you'll see all of the, all of the items with the cat hashtag. So again, it makes it very simple to, to find what you want to find. Actually, let's see if there's anything for San Francisco, like the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. There's got to be. Click on artworks and you'll see all of the artwork for San Francisco. There's the Golden Gate Bridge. Again, pixelated. You can upload your own photo if you wanted to. Actually, it's baseball season, so let's go ahead and search for Yankees. Here we go. Clicking on New York Yankees. Let's go ahead and add that to the fifth display. Boom! Shows up right there. So very, very cool, guys. I'm really happy to see that there is a, a search function. Just makes it easy to find what you want to find very, very quickly. And the last settings I want to show you are for the actual lighting, lighting of the Devoom time gate, because maybe you don't want it to be super bright. So you do have separate brightness levels for both the screen and the ambient lights on the side. Speaking of ambient lights, let's go ahead and turn this off so you can kind of see those lights a little bit better. 
So there it is, you can increase or decrease the brightness. And here's the ambient lights on the side. Let's put that all the way down. So it basically turns them off, just like that. And then we're gonna turn the brightness way up so you can see the lights, super bright. When it comes to the lights of the actual Devoom time gate, you have all lights, you also have the surround lights, which are on the side, and then you have the backlights for the actual displays. So here it is, you can see your backlights right there. And let's see if we can switch through. And that's gonna change the backlighting just for those backlights. Surround lights, the same type of deal, guys. You can, you can have different animations or all of the lights, you can have it follow the same type of animation. Or you can choose your own colors as well. So that's basically it when it comes to the Voom type gate. I mean, you can spend hours upon hours finding exactly the images that you want. You can even create your own animated images at that. But if you're looking for the coolest tech idea, either for yourself or a loved one, they are gonna love this, I pretty much guarantee it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below, but I gotta spend more time and find the pixel art that I wanna throw up on my displays here. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it, and I'll catch you in another video.